Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. So I hope you guys are having a great day today. Um, I just thought I would come on here quickly. I'm sitting in front of my bed. Notice behind me it's going to be pretty dark so I apologize. Um, I just got back from taking my kids to PE for school and usually Thursdays are long days for us so that's why there's no makeup um, or anything. You guys know how I feel about that. But I did get my Allure box and I wanted to come on here and share this with you guys. Now I did see a spoiler a week or so ago and I have to say that I was not happy with it. Um, let me tell you why. So you guys know if you've been with me for quite some time you know that I that Allure was one of my recommended favorite subscription boxes and it and the price was great. I felt like you got great products and all of that. All of a sudden, they decided as of October that they were going to increase their price from uh, $15 a month, which comes to $16 something with tax, um, to $25 a month. So now it's $27 and some change because they were doing a improvement and they were going to be having a different, like a nicer box. In my opinion, it's okay. Um, and you were supposed to get much better products and fuller size products, um, more full size products. And um, not only that, but you were supposed to get more products. This is the second month now, and I feel like it's just okay. I think that before they had this price increase and supposedly are adding more products and fuller size products, I feel like you got such a better deal at $15 a month. You got better products, better quality, in my opinion, um, than what you're getting now. And for them increasing the price, I thought it would be so much better than it is, and it's not. Um, and I'm just very disappointed. I have one more month, but I don't even know that I want to go to December and finish it out because I'm not even going to keep the products. Like the one in this box today, I am I doubt that I'm even going to keep anything in this box. Okay, so, I mean, to me it reminds me of a BoxyCharm box. It's just white and red. That's the only difference. Um, but I just, I don't understand the whole concept with increasing the price and saying we're going to get more fuller size products when I don't feel we have. Not this month or last month. Um, and it's supposed to be new and improved. I really feel like, in all honesty, that before the increase, we got way better stuff. And to me, I was fine with just that. So I'm not really happy with this subscription, but I'm going to go ahead and pull out the card. Go ahead and just grab the first thing that I see. This is the Acure Ultra Hydrating 12-Hour Facial Moisturizer with... Um, Adapogens Super Greens. It says intense moisture for thirsty skin, 100% vegan, paraben free, sulfate free, mineral oil free. Um, and this is what it looks like. And I can guarantee this is not a full size. This is a sample size. So let's see what it says in here. Yes, because the full size looks like this. So if they would have sent us that, then maybe to me that would be considered an improved because they sent, didn't send this, but they sent a full size of that for the value of the price that we got, um, that we paid. So it says here that full price, it's $18.99. I know that Ulta it carries this brand. It's moisture to thirsty skin. That's all it says. So... I will keep this because I have dry skin and I can always use an extra moisturizer. I don't need it, but I can definitely use it. Um, but again, I think that should have been a full size. Next product I see in here is a sample size as well. Uh, while they may say it's a full size. This is Josephine Eye Dazzle Natural Longwear Liquid Eyeshadow. Okay, this is a full size I'm assuming. Um, it says here, rich high voltage colors with a chamomile infused texture that glides on smoothly opening the eyes with hours worth of bold shimmer the packaging looks like that 
It's in Glamorously Healthy is the shade, I'm assuming. It does retail for $30. The packaging is very pretty, very luxury looking. Um, you can see the color there a little bit. I'm not going to swatch it in case I decide to give it away. So it's like a taupey brown shimmer kind of, I would say. Again, I this is a full size, $30. Mm, it's a lot in my opinion, but that's just me. The next item I see is the Perfect Shine Clarifying Scalp Scrub. It is color safe and paraben free. This is a uh, deluxe sample size um, as well. And this is a one fluid ounce. Has the lid on. Let me see what it says here. A gentle foaming scrub that removes product buildup and impurities to reveal a natural shine. The thing that I have, the problem that I have with hair scrubs is that when you have long hair, it's very hard to get in there and get the scalp. So I end up passing these usually to my husband because he will tend to use them. So a full size is 8.8 .8 ounces and it retails for $16 and you can get it at Ulta or Ulta.com. I probably will be passing to my husband. The next item is a sample size as well. This is the Neogen Dermalogy Real Ferment Micro Essence. This is the sample size. Um, it says a deeply hydrating and brightening essence that contains more than 93% natural fermented ingredients. Um, to deliver instant skin benefits, the Ferment Essence is formulated with natural brightness for glowing, supple skin. It's going to be going into a giveaway. I'm not keeping that. I have way too many skincare products at the moment. Okay, the next item I see is from Mana Kadar Beauty. Um, this is a Perfect Lip Bliss Moisturizing Lip Mask. And this, I'm assuming, is a full size. It says, it's time to give your lips a little spa time. Mana Kadar Lip Bliss Lip Mask contains emollients to give dry lips a little hydration and vitamins to aid in the appearance of softer and smoother looking lips. That is what it looks like. Smells really good and it does have a dome foot applicator. Just put some on. It smells nice and it feels nice. So I'm always happy to have these because I do um, go through these quickly and I always have dry lips. So happy to have that. It does retail for $22. So that's one thing I'm keeping. Actually, two things so far. Okay, the next item that I see in here is the Skin Medica Instant Bright Eye Mask. For some reason, every month so far, we've been getting an eye mask. I don't know why. And it's one eye mask, uh, like a single use. It says, need a quick pick-me-up. These cooling gel patches soothe and hydrate the under eye area for an instant refresh. Unique hydrogel techni uh, technology reduces the appearance of puffiness to help eyes look youthful and rested. Um, use as needed as part of your instant bright eye regimen. So it retails for $48 for six sets of two. So again, this is one of them. I will keep that and use it. Um, so nice to get another one, I guess. Okay, this is the Dermalect Cosmetic Self-Esteem Beauty Sleep Serum. I'm assuming this is a full size. It says a potent yet gentle anti-aging serum com combining three active forms of amino acids. Overnight treatment effectively revitalizes dual looking skin Focus on line, fine lines, wrinkles, and large pores. 
Great for age spots, uneven skin tone, multitasking facial and decollete applications. That is what the packaging looks like. And this is what the product looks like right there. So it is a one fluid ounce. Smells very, very chemically, not like, so I don't know about that. Tails for $42. It contains salicylic and glycolic acids that help with congestion and promote cell turnover. So that could be what I was smelling was the acid um, because it was fairly, fairly strong. So the next, last item we have here is from the brand Win Win Beauty. So this is the Last Choice Biocellus Sheet Mask. And I, I definitely don't need no more sheet masks. I mean, I'm like overloaded. It says, when your skin feels dry, quench its thirst with when the Last Choice Win Premium Biocellulose Sheet Mask for face contains gentle ingredients to help drench your skin and long-lasting moisture. So yes, another sheet mask. It says that they retail for $5 each. So um, I will be keeping the eye patches. Possibly they may be going into a giveaway because I do have some currently. I may try the Dermalect. I don't know yet. I haven't decided on that. Um, I will keep the Acure, uh, Cure uh, moisturizer because I have dry skin and I think that would be nice. Um, I will be keeping the Mana Kadar lip um, treatment because I did already use that. Uh, most likely I'm going to be putting this Josephine um, eye because I don't need any more of these. I have way too many um, and Steel is one of my favorite for these and so I, I rather stick with what I know because if I use this and don't like it, I don't think anybody would want it after that from putting it on my eyes. So this is going to go on a giveaway or a gift for a friend. Uh, I may give this to my husband. This is the hair scrub if he wants it. If not, it'll go in a giveaway. And this micro essence I'm going to be putting in a gift or giveaway as well. So overall, I'm not too happy with this box. Um, I don't think it was worth the $27. And you, some of you may say that you think it is, but I feel like we are just getting way too much skincare. I got two makeup i actually i don't consider a lip oil as a makeup item to me that's more of a skin thing one makeup item out the whole box um i just don't see the the point and why they had to revamp and change things they were good the way they were in my opinion so yeah i'm not too happy about it but uh, let me know down below if you get this box and if you got something i did or if you were happy with your box i'd love to know that I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I appreciate each and every one of you for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.